cabinet making right click primitive cube shift a ah shape it you know the size you want um, if you want it to sit on the floor right away uh, you could first of all go freeze scale and we could go W and move this up a little bit we could type exactly the, the size um, we'll start adding loops both side and just eyeball them shift click shift click something like this Q now I can go three for polygon select both B to extrude a bevel Q and now I want to copy those polygons so I can go control C or edit copy now I want to make a new la new layer I can press N for a new layer but look we have one so first I'll name this cabinet and then I'll make this one I'll name this one drawer perfect so this one is empty so now I can paste the polygon that I copy and if you want to check five to exit polygon we can hide the cabinet and actually see those two polygons so now I can grab them I could bevel them out but we can try a new tool called thicken was great it's here you click here click anywhere to connect it and use the blue arrow and that will thicken our, uh, our draw Q. Now we can move them out with uh, W. You see it's not centered, so if you want to center it, you go Edit, Center to Bonding Box Center. I could also uh, right-click Unmerge to get you know them separated, uh, like this. But I want them one by one, but that's fine. Uh, like this, Q. Three for Polygon. Select this one and this one and press B a little bit like this shift click to redo it move them down now to give this a better look um, we can go in edges or two uh, double first of all let's go five select this one then you go two. Uh, double click to select the edges that we want shift double click and then you can double click here again and just click here so usually I would spend time and select everything perfectly uh, you know the inside also but B and as long as you have zero you click and drag anywhere it will do a, a very nice bevel and that will bounce the light nicely deselect now I can go five select this go back to two and here if I wanted a uh, bevel everywhere if nothing is selected everything is selected then I can just go B but this time I'll put two segment so when I click and drag you see it's adding two lines so now it's very round uh, we don't really need those one but it's just quicker to do it this way and then drag back a little bit Q um, and then if you want to uh, put uh, a floor uh, plane R to scale if you want to uh, create handle you can go N for new layer name them handles and maybe we'll use the top view and here we could create the new layer the, the handle so I can use the pipe and uh, this might be too big so I'll click once inside to hide it and it's way too big so I'll go maybe 15 mm I don't need 10 I can just go 8 and 8 that will also look better I think we could get sharp corner if you put segment zero uh, side no segment um, but it doesn't matter it's like as long as it look good um, so then you can go back as long as you don't drop the tool you can go back and uh, tweak them so it looks a hair better now frankly if we're going to see them from far away I will not worry too much about the oops undo and click here see, mine are not very pretty but I gave you that but it's uh, it's quick and dirty um, and then we can go W to move it up 
uh, edit center to center to center it Control D to duplicate W to move the new one and uh, then we could uh, select everything minus the plane and Control G to group it if you want to give some color select both M and call this handle for now let's keep it simple I'll, uh, you need to change the name huh? we'll just make them red and to do a render uh, F8 to preview like this and when it's time for the final F9